Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum everyone. Myself, Dr. Mamuna Asir. By profession, I'm a physiotherapist. And today, I'm going to deliver a lecture on the subject of evidence-based practice. As we are health practitioners, we are physiotherapists. Our current physiotherapists are future physiotherapists. So, our practice would be related to physiotherapy. So, in the subject of evidence-based practice, we will study evidence-based physiotherapy. So, for starting, for having an introduction regarding evidence-based physiotherapy, we should know what is evidence. Evidence is actually high-quality clinical research. But, research alone does not give or make good or bad decision. These are actually people who makes decision and consider them it's good or bad. And these decisions are being made on the range of values, preferences, experience and knowledge. So, for considering the decision making part, patient's perspective is very much important. Patient preferences is also considered important for part for evidence-based physiotherapy. And the third very important pillar for a level for enhancing the level of evidence-based practice is physical therapist practice knowledge. So, evidence-based physiotherapy is solely based on three pillars. Number one is high quality clinical research. Number two is patient preferences. And number three is physical therapist practice knowledge. There comes times when we do not have high quality clinical research. So, what we should do at that time? We can compromise at that time and we can use the low quality clinical research considering that this is the best available evidence. But this practice was done at older times when low quality clinical research was being used as best available evidence and the striving was not done for the betterment. So in current definition of evidence-based physiotherapy, high quality is very much important. If at certain times we are not having high quality, we should strive for maintaining that level of high quality clinical research. So we will go into details of these three pillars and we will get to know the detailed introduction of evidence-based physiotherapy. Number one, high quality clinical research. What is that? What is high quality clinical research? It is the clinical research which is being done on the patient in clinical setting. Number two, it is empirical in nature. What is meant by empirical? Empirical means it is not based on any theory or any hypothesis. It is properly based on observations and experiment. So when it is the result of complete experimental studies and experiments, there are low risk of biasness. It means the results are trustworthy. And the research which are being produced or the evidences which are produced from these clinical research, they are highly valid for the patient. And it also answers all the questions which are required for enhancing the level of evidence-based physiotherapy. Then comes patient preferences. In older times, as I told that, high quality clinical research was considered the only part of evidence-based physiotherapy. But later, patient preferences were being considered important. So, what was the model which was used in older times? Traditional model was used rather in patient preferences. In traditional model, it was being considered that the patient's perspective is not important. We do not have to consider or ask for the patient for any kind of questions. So, in the later time, contemporary model was being evolved and in that contemporary model, shared decision making was being carried. Shared decision making means there should be decision making done between physical therapist and patient considering their perspective because their culture, their preferences, their experience, their values and their decisions should be equally uh, weighted and should be, should be equally considered important. So for that, communication is very much important between physical therapist and patient. For maintaining that communication, a physiotherapist should be highly communicative 
which means it he should have high communication skills and he should be very empathetic to listen to the physiotherapist or a patient's perspective considering it a union then comes another part physical therapist practice knowledge physical therapist practice knowledge is very much important which tells that professional practice and experience in professional practice and experience in professional practice it is very much important to consider the practice and knowledge of the physical therapist and it is being added how the physical therapist is being encountered with the patient even a single patient add knowledge to the practice of physiotherapist and it is being done on day to day basis and it adds values to physical therapist practice and it is a reflective process reflective process means the physical therapist learn from his past experience and apply it in future and it is also used in clinical reasoning and highly skilled judgments apart from that rapid and fluent response of physical therapist and patient is considered very much important and it is also considered very much important in decision making and it gives a very good comparison between new highly skilled or new competent graduate and old experienced physical therapist this is the main pillar which gives the difference between newer person and the older person and it also gives alternative interventions for example there is a child having cerebral palsy and according to evidence uh, we should cast the upper limit for improving quality and range but according to physical therapist practice and knowledge and considering the environment he would have multiple options to consider and to go through and enhance the case for the patient there are some additional factors apart from these factors which are also affecting the evidence based physical therapy and what are these factors these are culture setting resource and politics we all work in different settings and we all belong to different cultures so according to that decision making is being done and also resource is very much vital component in evidence based physical therapy how for example according to an evidence there is an instrument which is being used for a particular treatment which is not available in any area so if that instrument is not available the resource is not available we cannot perform that high quality research and apply evidence based physiotherapy another very much important resource is skill of physiotherapist for example instrument is present in that place but physiotherapist is not that much skilled to perform that physiotherapy treatment with the help of that equipment so it is also considered important that resource regarding skill of physiotherapist should also be available and politics also gives a very important picture regarding that if we go into global perspective there is variation in spectrum and according to that variation we can also identify and give the comparison between morbidity and mortality rate worldwide in the global picture the last thing which we are going to study is clinical decision making clinical decision making means collecting information from high quality clinical research patient preferences physical therapist practice and knowledge in a particular culture economic and political context so this was all about evidence based physiotherapist i hope you guys understood it and you if you guys have any query or any question you guys can ask me directly you guys can call me message me or comment downward i can give you reply and tell you everything you would ask me about this thank you very much